why the Golden State Warriors are officially back. After getting off to a really poor start this season, the Warriors as of late have done a phenomenal job at getting back to their winning ways. And as of late, they were able to go on a five game winning streak and get some really impressive wins during that stretch. And in my opinion, I definitely do think the Warriors are getting back on track to their winning ways and I do think they're going to be a dangerous team once it comes down to playoff time. But quickly, before we get the video started, for those of you who may not know, I'm Juicy Sports, I make opinionative NBA content, and if you guys enjoy videos similar to this, hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that post notification bell. I also want to quickly mention that I recently started up an MMA channel, and if you guys are interested in that, the link will be in the description. But anyways, let's get into it. When you think about the Golden State Warriors over the more recent history, you think of success. You think of their playoff success that they were able to have over the years. You think about the championships they were able to win. And overall, it's pretty clear that the Warriors from top to bottom were just a model organization. But when you look at the Warriors over the last two or so seasons, it's pretty clear that they're not nearly living up to the standard that they used to. They had some seasons where they missed the playoffs entirely and were one of the worst teams in the league. They had some seasons where they made the playoffs, but they didn't have nearly as much success success as they did in the past, and overall it's pretty clear that things have changed a little bit with the Golden State Warriors. Now a question that some of you may be wondering at this point is why? Why weren't the Warriors able to keep up a similar level of success that they had in their glory years over the past two or so seasons? Well in my opinion, I think it comes down to a couple different factors. The first factor has to be injuries. When you look at the past few years, a lot of their main guys have been hurt. Whether you talk about Steph Curry, whether you talk about Klay Thompson, some other of their main guys, and even support supporting cast were definitely hurt over the last few years, and of course that's going to play a significant role in terms of lack of playoff success that the Warriors have had, or even lack of success in general in the regular season. But of course, besides injuries, the next factor has to be the loss of Kevin Durant. Whenever you're losing a player that's one of your main guys, of course that's going to be a big hit, but especially when you're losing a guy like Kevin Durant, who's one of the best players in the entire NBA, there's so much that he does for you offensively, not only scoring for himself, but also spreads the court out significantly for others and gives more room for your offense to flow. Of course, losing a player of that caliber is going to play a significant role in the lack of success that the Warriors have had ever since he left. Now, besides those two factors, changes in management definitely play a factor, and overall, there definitely is a lot to explain why the Warriors haven't been playing as well as of late. But with that being said, when you look at what Golden State was able to do as of late, going on a five-game winning streak and just playing much better basketball overall, both offensively and defensively, it's pretty clear that there is a lot more to get excited about now as opposed to what we've seen from them prior to this recent hot streak. But a question that some of you may be wondering at this point is why? Why are the Warriors able to be so much more successful now as opposed to what they were able to do earlier on into the season? Well, it comes down to a couple different factors, but the first factor that I want to touch upon is their defense. Because when you look at what the Warriors were doing earlier on in the season, although their offense wasn't perfect, there definitely were some games where some of their guys were going off and their offense was playing at a pretty high level. And there was a bunch of times where the Warriors had a lead, whether you talk about they had a lead in the fourth quarter, they had a lead in the second half, or just had a lead in general, there definitely were times where their offense was good enough to be better than another team in a certain moment. But as the game did progress, and especially in the fourth quarter and late in the fourth quarter, the Warriors were blowing a bunch of leads due to the lack of defense. And obviously, if you're not able to play defense at a high level, it's going to be extremely difficult to win games. No matter how how good your offense is. Your offense virtually needs to be perfect in order to win games without good defense. And I definitely think the lack of defense earlier on in the season is a huge reason for why the Warriors didn't have all that great of a record and were blowing a lot of games they probably otherwise should have won. Now besides just our defense, another factor has to be their offense as well. Because although this definitely is a lesser factor, there were a bunch of games where the Warriors were playing pretty well offensively. When you look at the roster, they do have a lot of weapons, whether you're talk about Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, Jonathan Kaminga, Andrew Wiggins, Pozemski. There's so many different guys on this roster that play really effective offensive basketball. But at the end of the day, when you're blowing as many leads as the Warriors were earlier on into the season, obviously another factor has to be their overall offensive efficiency as well, because of course they weren't scoring really whatsoever in those stretches where they were blowing those games. So their overall offensive efficiency is another reason for why the Warriors weren't playing well whatsoever early 
earlier on into the season. Now the last reason for why the Warriors weren't playing all that well whatsoever earlier on into the season is due to the play of Jonathan Kaminga. Because when you look at how Kaminga was playing earlier on in the season, there definitely were some games where he played well, where he put up efficient numbers and put up good scoring numbers overall, but when you look at where he's at at this point compared to earlier on in the season, it's pretty clear that Kaminga is playing so much better now and a lot more consistently as well. So of course, the lack of consistency and the lack of scoring that the Warriors were getting from Kaminga also could be another factor for why they weren't playing all that well to start the season. But when you look at all those factors that I mentioned and compare that to where the Warriors currently are at this point, it's pretty clear that Golden State is a completely different team. When you look at their offense, it's pretty clear that they're doing a great job at mixing everybody in and playing very efficient and effective basketball. Draymond Green is back and he's doing a really nice job at facilitating and getting open looks for guys like Steph Curry and Klay Thompson, but also finding wide open looks for guys like Jonathan Kaminga and Pozemski as well. So their overall offense is definitely a lot more efficient and a lot better, but even besides that, more importantly, their defense is also significantly better. When you look at what the Warriors are currently doing at this point, they're doing a really nice job at double or triple teaming when they need to. They're doing a nice job at sending help. They're also doing a much better job at playing better overall individual defense. And when you look at what the Warriors are able to do at this point, they're able to get stops most important. And if their defense is playing at a much higher level, now than it was prior, of course that's going to help you a lot offensively because it's going to allow you to make more mistakes offensively. You're not going to feel like you have to score on every possession and you need to score a three on every possession. But even besides that, when you're playing really good defense, that's going to help you get in transition. And when you're in transition, you're going to get wide open looks, whether they're layups or dunks or even three point jump shots. So overall, the improved defense that we're seeing from Golden State is a huge factor for why they're playing so much better and why they're able to hold on to a lot of the leads that they have. And due to how well the Warriors have been playing as of late, I do actually think this Golden State team has a real chance to be dangerous in the playoffs. I know currently at this point, they are not technically in the playoffs, they're in the play-in tournament, but if the Golden State is able to play as well as they have been as of late with the improved defense, with their improved offense, I fully expect them to be in the top six in the Western Conference. And if they are able to do that, once it comes down to playoff time, there's just so many different guys on this roster that of course have championship experience and playoff experience and I think they might be able to figure things out and make it really difficult on really whatever team they play. And to be completely honest, I wouldn't be surprised whatsoever if they upset a team, maybe go to the second round, and who knows where they can go from there. When you talk about a team that has as much championship experience and winning experience that this Warriors team has, even though they did get off to a little bit of a choppy start and even though they hadn't had all that much success as of late, at the end of the day, things can change really quickly. And at this point, I do think they have a good amount of talent on the roster and I think they have enough talent on the roster in order to go on some sort of a run. But obviously with all that being said, it still is extremely early. The Warriors still haven't necessarily played all that well this season and there is a lot more work that needs to be done in order for Golden State to get to that level that I was mentioning. But I guess only time will tell what does end up happening. But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think the Golden State Warriors are back or do you not think so? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video and if you did enjoy, check one of these two videos popping up now. And until the next time, peace out, guys.